What's going on, YouTube modeling community? Pappy here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the father figures out there. Uh, hope you're getting to uh, spend a little time with the, with your kids, uh, love loved ones, and uh, maybe getting you some rest, maybe getting you some bench time in. That's one thing I have done today. I have was able to get a real nice breakfast this morning. And uh, got a little bench time in, which I wanted to kind of give everybody a little update of what I've been doing uh, on the bench, and uh, kind of show you some of the projects that uh, that I've kind of been involved in over the last couple of months. I know I've kind of been MIA for a while, but always good to kind of get down, uh, kind of cool the jets a little bit on the building, uh, kind of get some uh, creative juices flowing again on future builds. So, but this is one right here that uh, that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Uh, this year's theme for the, uh, uh, for the 2024, uh, Acme Southern Nationals, one of the themes is, uh, pickup trucks. And the second theme is going to be 60 years of Mustang. And yes, Mustangs have been around, uh, for 60 years. So I'm actually older than the Mustang. <laughs> that makes me really feel old, but, uh, I haven't built, uh, a theme yet for this. Uh, so I wanted to kind of get started. I wanted to jump in and do a little bit of different take on a 143rd scale kit. One of my Acme, uh, club members or one of the, our Acme club members, a real good friend of mine, Scott Ridley, he builds 143rd scale, uh, kits and his, they are immaculate. I love looking at them when he finishes, uh, detailing one. And, uh, one day we were talking, and uh, I, I told him, I said, Scott, I really do like these. I just don't have any. And next thing I know at the next meeting, he brings me like three or four. And this was one of them, uh, the AMT 69 uh, Ford Mustang 2 Plus 2 kit. And uh, it's, if you haven't, uh, if you don't know what, you know, the difference between 143rd and one, uh, 124th or 125th, like what we normally do, there's a lot of difference in size. And I'm going to show you all this right here with another Mustang uh, body that I've got. This right here is the 143rd scale, the, the orange, uh, orange one here. This is 124th and one twenty or 125th. So a lot of difference between the two. So with that being said, uh, the parts availability of what I'm planning on doing with this build uh, is kind of limited unless, uh, when I say parts, I'm talking about aftermarket parts, I'm going to build this one as a pro street. Uh, everyone knows my love for a pro street bill, but, uh, the parts availability for the aftermarket parts are very limited. So I got my buddy over at, uh, over at project O, Mr. Lewis over there and, uh, Andrew, they printed me up a couple of sets of pro street, uh, fat tires and some beautiful, uh, weld wheels, uh, for those. And this is what these are right here. Uh, the, the, man, I couldn't wait. I, I was really jonesing to get these things. And uh, when I did, I first thing I did was get them, uh, broke off the sprue, got them cut off, got them cleaned up and ready for paint. So they're they're as they sit right there is a uh, pretty, uh, it's pr everything you see pretty much what I was fixing to go into paint here in the next few days. Uh, what else uh, was I going to say? Curbside. Uh, Many of you that are not familiar with curbside, if you're new to the hobby, I uh, hope that the comparison between 124th, 25th, and 143rd, I hope that cleared up a, a question uh, for you. Another thing, when I say uh, curbside, what's curbside mean, Pappy? Well, curbside is this right here. Uh, when you see a uh, the bottom of the car or the frame itself and everything is molded in. I mean, from the rear end to the exhaust, to the transmission engine front, uh, the front suspension, uh, that's curbside. That just means that the hood's not going to open. There's not going to be any presentation of an engine with the hood opening. So it's pretty much just, you know, just, you know, put it together like that and put your tires and wheels on it but we're going to put a real nice paint job on this body uh we just got it cleaned up so here i am in here rubbing my greasy fingers but we'll throw it in the bath again before we uh before we start getting any primer on it but uh, i'm really stoked about these tires and wheels i did a mock-up on it last night uh after getting everything uh pretty finalized on uh getting these getting these big massive tires to fit in here one of the things that i had to do 
was to uh, let me get this in here. Was this is the uh, interior tub? Uh, I had to take, and I tell you what, Skelly, give me a hand. You sitting up there ain't doing nothing. I know you're a father, but what I had to do was take a Dremel and I had to open up this right in here. I just kept uh, whittling away, whittling away until it's almost paper thin on this fender well right here. And that allows these big old fat pro street meats to just drop down right in there, just like that. And I got a little wiggle room too. So those will those will fit right down in there real nice, uh, as well as uh, up there in the front uh, with the front tires. These are uh, the weld, I think they're weld uh, racing wheels that he printed up for me. So really looking forward to getting uh, some color on those and getting those done. Another thing that I had to do uh, to get these tires to fit was on this body pan was I had to right here in this area, I had to uh, take a file sanding stick and come over a little bit closer to this rear end housing as far as where the leaf springs would be at. And we just pretty much will smooth that down to where these tires just drop, boom, right down in there, just like that. So those are really going, we're going to give it a real low, I mean, a weed eater stance uh, as far as on the ground. Uh, the tires are going to be tucked up into the fender wells on both the fronts and the rears. So looking forward to doing that. Haven't chosen a color yet. Uh, I'm kind of leaning. Everybody's like, eh, it's going to be Pappy Red. It's going to be Pappy Red. Nope, it's not going to be Pappy Red, but it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a, uh, a relative of Pappy Red. Let's just put it that way. I did a uh, uh, I did a gasser uh, a while back, uh, an Anglia. Uh, an old Anglia gasser, and I did it in a candy apple red, and it turned out very well. So with this car uh, molded in orange like it is, I want it. I want to cover that up. So of course I'll come over it with the uh, uh, with the black uh, black primer. We'll get all that covered up with that. Then once we get that applied, we'll come back with the base coat of gold. Uh, and then we'll come back with a clear red, and then come back over that with the uh, clear. So. And same thing with this, where I even got some, I, I got some uh, exterior color that has to go along this front valance and this back valance back here. So we'll spray the entire thing, the same process that we're doing on the uh, body, everything. It'll be black, then gold, then candy apple red, and then clear. Once we get it cleared, uh, we'll buff this area out and right here and then on the body itself. And then we'll tape off uh, what doesn't need to be candy apple red. And then we'll paint this NATO black. And then we'll might try to pick out some of the details on the engine and suspension and the uh, and the uh, uh, exhaust there. So anyhow, that's uh, that's further down the, that's kind of toward the final things uh, on this build. Uh, interior, probably going to, eh, don't know yet. It's not going to be a, glo uh, it's not going to be a flat black. It's not going to be a gloss black. I'm thinking more, I always like the earthy tones, like the browns and the, uh, tans and things like that, especially, uh, with a, a kind of a reddish color itself. So, and then as far as the bumpers and everything, we'll detail these bumpers and the grills out with some, uh, washes and stuff and get that get that looking good the chrome on it looks really really well so it's not kind of that kit looking chrome so anyhow y'all keep uh y'all hope hope uh hope y'all follow along with this build uh as we start to uh progress on it i try to give you some updates on it and uh, again happy sunday happy father's day again to everyone hope everybody's enjoying their sunday with their children and their loved ones and again get you some well-deserved rest and some bench time Anyhow, as I always say, Pappy's out of here. God bless y'all. Remember, if you can dream it, build it. Pappy out.